Now, just before you watch my latest vlog, I've got a quick announcement. On Saturday, the 12th of October, uh, which is around about a month's time, uh, Chris Sale and I are doing another free workshop. Um, this time, we're going to do a workshop down here, but on Dartmoor. There's going to be a sunrise shoot. Uh, so we're talking early morning, we're talking 6 or so, six o'clock in the morning. I will put details of everything you need to know on a web page on my website, which is photoninjaphotography.com. If you head over to there, check out the details, and I'll put a comment box down below so that you can contact us, uh, contact me on there, and... Uh, Hopefully, you'll be selected to go on our free workshop. It is free. I don't know if I said, just, just said that. It is a free workshop. So, the idea is we'll go, we'll get up early, we'll all meet on Dartmoor. We are meeting at Pork Hill, I believe it's called. Um, and we're going to go up Great Staple Tour because you'll get 360 degree views, uh, which will maximise our chance of getting colour. Or if we can't, we'll go telephoto. Um, yeah, meet there in the morning and then we will end up in Tavistock probably having breakfast uh, just to finish off the workshop. So like I said, I'll put all the details to the workshop on my website, photoninjaphotography.com. Head over there, fill out a little contact form, send us an email and me and Chris will select four people. Now, we're going to keep it to four people just because we can keep it more personal that way. So. Um, if it's anything like last time, it'll be an absolute nightmare for us to choose four people. But if we don't get selected, I'm very sorry. I'm, assume, I'm, I'm pretty sure me and Chris will be doing more in the future. Uh, so just uh, bear that in mind. And um, yeah, to lucky four, see you on the 12th of October on Dartmoor. See you later. Enjoy the video. <laughs> Bear with me a minute, I've got, uh, I've got exposure for it. Two sets. Right, welcome to another vlog. Welcome to Devon Cliffs. I'm on a short family holiday, well, four days, four nights. Um, we used to come here as a kid, absolutely loved it. So uh, rather than stay in Cornwall for this year, we took Willow uh, on our first little holiday, just the three of us. So an old family favourite of, of mine. So it's nice to see uh, some old, uh, relive some old memories. But anyway, um, I did a video a while ago about minimalism. Uh, up at Colleyford Lake, uh, over on um, over Cornwall there. And it went down so well, and I enjoyed myself so much, and I was that happy with the shots. This, I'm going to have another go at it, because this beach is very minimal, there's hardly anything here, other than shaped patterns and an incoming tide, uh, which isn't ideal. I would prefer an outgoing tide, because uh, I'm constantly being chased back and back by the, uh, the tide. And you've got to be really careful with the water going in and around your tripod legs and your tripod sagging, especially during a long exposure, which is what I'm doing. Now I'm around two minutes uh, just to flatten that water off. I have found a composition. There's a rock, sea, flat water, nice horizon. With some boats on the horizon, but I doubt you'll see the boats in the... Uh, in the shot, I'm wide out at 11 mil, which is very wide, uh, on a crop sensor mine. Cable release, I've got a three stop case, uh, soft brad, whole bat of sky, and a case six stop, old plus polarizer, just to, just to cut through that water a little bit. Uh, my exposure's finished, so I'm going to grab this shot, and I'll see you uh, further down the beach.
definitely some compositions around here. I've got some lovely shapes in these rocks, real rich, vibrant greens. Uh, so with that case polarizer and the shapes I've got here, oh, it's going to be good. Um, could be some portrait shots here as well. I haven't really decided, but I'm, again, I'm determined to get at least one nice shot from here. I should do because like I said, there's so much scope for uh, shots. And plus, I'm a little bit higher now because I'm on the rocks. So I haven't got to worry about that tide keep coming in and creeping around my tripod. I can put my tripod down take my time a little, little bit more. I'm going to keep scouting and uh, I'll talk you through what I'm doing once I get set up. Right, what am I doing? I've got a lovely S curve that sort of bends from bottom right to top left. Beautiful green, uh, velvety seaweed on top of these like, you can't see but they are really orange. It's a shame you can't see little bits of orange poking through the green but that leads me on to why I've included the orange cliffs in the right hand side because one like I said, it adds a bit more colour to the image and two, it makes the shot a bit more recognisable from where I, where I am. The, the cliffs, the ground, the mud is, is famous for being orange on this coast. So by including that cliff, plus the sun's setting over and it's sort of casting a little bit more light over in a distance. So although this is my main foreground, you are sort of going to get led over into the distance. And you've got Dawlish Warren, I'm sure that's Dawlish Warren, uh, I will quote the screen uh, if I'm right or wrong. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Dawlish Warren over there. I just think it adds to the shot. Although I was going to go for minimal, I just can't pass up on this shot. Although, it's not really minimal. It's, it's not minimal, no. <laughs> but it's just a nice shot. It's a, it's a nice record shot for me. Uh, for the holiday and like I said it's very recognisable for the area that I'm shooting in. So I'm going to be in around F11, F9, I'm going to use a cable release, I would think I'm probably going to increase the shutter to around 30 seconds with a 6 stop, a uh, polarizer, and probably a, a soft grab just to hold back that sky. Yeah, that's about it really. Right, I'm going to get my filters on. That was just me preempting. I don't actually know. <laughs> I just sort of get it in there early just in case I run out of time. <laughs> right, I'll see you in a bit. Right, so I've gone for around 30 seconds. And that's, all that's doing is flattening off this water because it doesn't look very interesting and there's too much texture in and around it because the sea is a very dominant section in my image. There's too much going on, there's too many ripples and I think flattening it off just creates that sort of more of a minimal look. <laughs> Whether you think this is a minimal shot or not is up to you. Uh, comment down below but I'm not so sure. It's just a nice landscape. A modern landscape I would say more than a minimal but it's just really nice I mean really nice I really like this the histogram looks good I know I bang on about it I haven't got a live histogram so if you haven't got a live histogram take a shot take a base shot dial your settings into what you think you need and obviously you've got a light meter on your screen but you need to be looking at your histogram when you're taking landscape images. It's an absolute must. Take a shot, check your histogram, make sure you're happy, and then you can adjust it from that first shot. So I'm around 30 seconds, my histogram looks really good. Uh, just a brilliant shot, in my opinion. Looks really smart.
And this is, in this instance, this is where a long exposure really works. This shot would not work, I don't think, without a long exposure. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take a shot now at around a third of a second, and then I'll do my 30 seconds, and then uh, I'll let you know whether, whether you think the longer exposure works best or the slightly shorter exposure. So I've done another little tight shot for all you minimal freaks out there. <laughs> it is quite minimal. There's no sky, there's no cliff. It's just the S curve with the lovely green rocks. Six stop to flatten that water off. I was around 20, 30 seconds. Stop down to F8, ISO 100. Focus is very, very easy, focus right in front of you. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice, it's different, it's nice, but it is minimal, um, so it should keep some people happy if you don't think the last shot I took was that minimal. But anyway, I'm Photo Ninja Photography, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to check over to photoninjaphotography.com, check out my website for all, all the high res images, uh, I've got, like I said a few weeks ago, I've got a new uh, workshop section to my website, so go and check out my workshop section um, drop me a comment on my contact me page and uh, we'll sort out uh, we'll sort out some one-to-ones or groups depending on where or what you want to do um, yeah and I will see you on the next one thank you so much for watching this is Devon Cliffs in Devon <laughs> no, let me rephrase that it's a sandy bay on the Devon Cliffs in Devon <laughs> Uh, thanks so much for watching.